Welcome to your first video on the trig star test. This is question number one. Question number one is always the same. You have this right triangle. It gives you two links. You should probably just write that down. The information AB is 108.81. Hypotenuse BC is 188.88. They often give you crazy numbers like this that make it uh, pretty easy for you to mistype them in the calculator. Um, here, let me fix that eight. If you hear Rowan in the background, just think it as it is being as cute as I do. Anyway, so notice I have to find an angle measurement and then I have to find distance AC. Let's do this distance AC first. I'll just call it X. Question is, if I have myself a right triangle, what do I use if I have two of the sides and I want to find the third side? I have to use the Pythagorean theorem. And on this, what I'm going to do is, instead of adding, I'm going to subtract, right? because it's x squared plus 108.81 squared equals 188.88 squared. And I'd have to subtract this over to that side and then take the square root. Now, whenever I would do this myself on the test, or you on your test, I wouldn't actually write that out. I would just know what I was supposed to add into the calculator. Let me pull this up. Right. And then I just start typing after I turn this thing on. Turn on, turn on. Clear, on. There we go. Okay, there's already the answer. Pretend like you didn't see that. So I'm going to put in the calculator 188.88 squared. Subtract out 108. It's got a little bit of lag here. 108.81 squared. And then take the square root of that number. Second square root, second answer. Didn't hit my second key. There we go. Now, if you look in this little box here, notice that it says the distances are measured to the nearest hundredth. Hundredth place is the second decimal. This nine behind it tells me that I have to round this up to 39. So 154.39. Let's write that in here. 154.39. Okay. Now, if you don't want to have to worry about the rounding, there's something that you can do on your calculator. So it'll do it for you. So if you go to your mode menu, right here where it says float, this is talking about the number of decimals. Scroll down to that. And I can change it to zero decimals, one decimal, two decimals, whatever scroll over here to this 2, hit enter, I quit out of this, watch if I pull this up here again, enter, take the square root of that, you can see that it'll perfectly round that for me. Okay, so stay tuned for the next video where we talk about finding angle C-A-B, C-B-A, C-B-A, yeah.